Hey guys, how's it going? It's been a little while since I released a video, so apologies for that. Um, and also, this is like a little small test video for my new gear I managed to get. That's right, I got myself a new iPhone 7 and Smooth Q, which I guess you can judge from the title. So I managed to smash up my G7X, my go-to vlogging camera, when I went to the Adventure Travel Film Festival. And yeah, it's not in a good state. This was actually a good opportunity for me to try out the iPhone 7 because I've heard that there was loads of good reviews and people using it to make films and whatnot. So I managed to get myself an iPhone 7 refurbished with 128 gigabytes for 280 quid. And I've also got myself a ZN Smooth Q for 80 quid. So I've got a little portable recording studio for 360 quid, which I think is an absolute bargain. I know that there's new iPhones and whatnot, uh, but I didn't fancy spending like a grand on just the iPhone to get the latest and greatest. I truly believe that what you really need to do is focus on good story and be a bit more creative with your shots to uh, get the most of the video. Well that's the idea anyway. So I won't be doing any processing on the footage just so that I can show you guys what's it like. So I'm really looking forward to the event tonight because uh, this Hamburg on Tour event is promoting Hamburg and all the highlights and it's showcasing what you can do in Hamburg. Uh, I know next to nothing about Hamburg so this should be really really interesting. I've heard there's food, drink and entertainment and also I'm going to hopefully catch up with some old friends as well. So kind of looking forward to it. I think I've been talking enough so uh, I guess here's the video. In Germany, we have the German purity law, which means um, you are only allowed to use water, hops, barley, and uh, yeast. So nothing more, no sugar, no nothing. So there's no place in the world where they played more. They became a professional life band. They started as real amateurs. They were very, very young. We ain't got no kick against modern jazz Unless you try to play it too damn fast I change the beauty of a melody Until it sounds just like a symphony That's why I go for better rock and roll music Any old way you choose it It's got a backbeat, you can blues it Any old time you use it Cha-cha boom! <laughs> okay, everything's sounding perfectly fine. So I've just started editing the video and I must admit I'm really impressed with the iPhone when you're filming outside. I'm really loving the colours, it's so vivid for such a small device. But what I'm really impressed about is that it's just the sound quality. I did a couple of tests actually inside just talking and obviously it doesn't compare to like having a lav mic or my Instamic which I absolutely love. As a device that you don't that you can just point at somebody and record uh, for interviews, it's definitely a great way to go about it. And actually recording the music 
I was really surprised how just kind of crisp sounding the, the actual quality of the video is. I'm definitely, definitely going to be using my iPhone a lot more for recording events when I can't be bothered to bring my full on uh, GH5 setup and whatnot. So the biggest thing I learned from the iPhone is that the low light conditions wasn't quite as good as I would expect. I mean, I wasn't expecting amazing video from such a small device, but the low light conditions made it really challenging for the iPhone. I'm just gonna have to remember to bring my LED light just when I do the vlogging and just make sure it kind of looks okay on me and maybe being a bit more smarter on where I'd actually film and obviously there's a couple of places where the light was slightly stronger so I might actually go towards there to actually film. I probably won't be carrying like a full light setup just to do my filming with my iPhone but you know it, it does the job it does definitely does the job. Anyway uh, also when it comes to using a gimbal because it's my first outing I definitely felt that it was a bit of a trick to learn how to to film properly with the gimbal and I think I'm gonna have to learn how to do that ninja walk as you're moving around with the gimbal there's real trick to it but hey just starting we'll see how it goes I'm sure my footage will get a lot better over time and a little small annoying thing was trying to actually work out how to get the footage off the iPhone with my Android phone it's just literally plug it in drag and drop and off you go with the iPhone, you kind of have to do jump through a few more hoops. Thankfully, um, uh, I think I'm just need to try and work it out how to get the footage off properly because it, it just seems a lot harder, a lot more harder than it should be. If you actually have any tips about this, definitely add in the comments so to give me a helping hand. We're gonna hit a few more gotchas over the coming couple of weeks when I do more filming of this thing. But uh, it's a good start. It's a really, really good start. And as to the event itself. Hamburg on tour, you've done an amazing job. Like, honestly, I was expecting just a room with a couple of stands and whatnot. Not like a whole, it was almost like an exhibition type of fair setup. And it was really well done, decking out the whole place with lights, lovely um, stands that represented drinking, beer, food, chocolate. Um, really, really good food, actually. I was really surprised about that. And for me, the highlights was definitely the beer, the gin. Obviously, food always makes me happy. And I really liked the artwork and there was a photographer who specialises in, in taking pictures of events and he took some amazing pictures of some of the festivals uh, dotted around Hamburg and one of the festivals that piqued my interest was called the Ripper Band Festival. I'm probably butchering the name but essentially it's a city festival and you jump from venue to venue which I absolutely love. So I'm looking forward to going to it next year as this year I've already missed it. And by looks of things, it's very comparable to one of my other favorite music festivals called The Great Escape. If you watch this channel for long enough, you probably know I'm a big fan of. So in summary, Hamburg, great city to visit for a long weekend or a bit longer. Uh, no doubt, I'm gonna have to try and figure out whether I have a spare weekend at some point between now and the end of the year where I can just visit for like four or five days. Um, if you have any other tips on what to do in Hamburg, definitely add it to the comments because yeah, I'm really quite keen to check it out. Uh, it's definitely piqued my interest. You guys at Hamburg and Tour done an amazing job to uh, entice people like me. I will definitely be checking it out. Yeah, sorry guys about the actual lower picture quality. I wanted to actually f test out my iPhone in different conditions and film this whole thing using my iPhone and, you know, did an okay job. Um, I need to improve the lighting in my room because I definitely can see the noise. If you have any tips on how to improve my iPhone filmmaking, add it to the comments. And no doubt I'll be adding loads of little videos around my experience, so definitely hit the subscribe button. And I'll be going back to my usual travel stuff over the next couple of weeks. I should have a lot more time now. Summer was a bit, little bit crazy. And yeah, make sure you hit the like button and I hopefully will see you at the next video.